Hey guys, what's up? Um, <laughs> I'm saying what's up as if I haven't been gone for like 5,000 years. Um, I'm sorry. Also, apologies for the background and the ceiling. There's some renovations going on in my apartment. Um, and it is in fact September. I just did not change my calendar. <sighs> Today's video will be about not about it will be a film review on marilyn monroe blonde or like just blonde uh which was um which i watched last night at tiff and here in toronto not like tiff the festival because that's over but tiff and i take this pause because i feel like there's a lot of things in this film that were done beautifully but I think at the core of it, it missed out on kind of capturing the essence of like Marilyn in a way. Like it captured a lot of things from like a male gaze perspective. And I understand that the director, Adam um, Donowick, I think his name is, wanted it to be like created that way and like he intended to maybe show how sexualized Marilyn Monroe was which is completely fair but I think there were like moments in which they show almost too much vulgarity and like I was reading a um article not an article or review of Blonde by this a film critic at the New York Times by Richard Brody I believe and he said the same thing and if the New York Times are saying it's an like unnecessarily vulgar you best believe it's unnecessarily vulgar and so it was two hours and 46 minutes like first of all it could have been much shorter um and I think the way the film does its timeline is according to kind of who Marilyn was dating for the majority of the part and I feel like I took kind of like a little bit of issue with that because it's like she was only defined really by the people she dated and not like by herself which was like frustrating in a way and it's fine to like have some intimate scenes and kind of create that on-screen chemistry but I feel like it was a little bit more than necessary like i'm just trying to like understand what the thought process was behind all of this intense vulgarity because let's just say her breasts were like a major part of the film and we get it she was like this pinup girl she was all these things but she also was an advocate she was a woman she was like an orphan and they did shed light on that but <sighs> I don't know I think it was for me personally it was like an over sexualized version of who she was as a person and I don't think that was that necessary and um there were scenes in the film where they allude to the fact they don't allude they really show that she was assaulted sexually um there was a, a bunch of assault she faces but like a lot of it was like sexual assault and I feel like there are tasteful ways of portraying sexual assault and like you do not have to be so graphic sometimes and I think that this particular film was oftentimes too graphic whether it was in like the the kind of flashbacks or it was just showing in real time and the other thing that was quite confusing in the film was that they would switch from black and white to color black and white to color and it was like we don't know if this is the past or the present or the like future like what is going on it was a little bit like the the storyline kind of broke for me personally at that point and um it, it's common knowledge that Marilyn Monroe kind of had abortions and like she I think also miscarried at one point but there was like an attempt to create like this um kind of vfx world of where like they show the inside of her uterus kind of and they show like this baby and like that she's kind of communicating to this baby and i feel like there's points where that like to begin with that was a cool idea like i think to introduce something like that is interesting but it was done so many times over and almost for every time she was pregnant and it was almost a little bit more it was over repetitive like i feel like the sequence didn't require that it was a little bit creepy and maybe that was the intention but it was a little bit like 
I don't know it didn't really sit well with me because it didn't serve that much purpose like I feel like they just need, wanted to include it so they did um and don't get me wrong I know all of this sounds bad but there was some good parts to that this film as well which I think like Ana de Armas her acting was phenomenal I think like all of the taste and talent she brought to it like without it the film would be like like an adult film pretty much it would be a pretty inappropriate film at large like I think without her acting skills and without like what she brought to each of her role like each of her like the segments it wouldn't have been nearly as entertaining as it was and there were scenes that were really well directed like especially her childhood like uh, scenes where like her mother is kind of like you know abusing her and it was pretty graphic for sure and that's fine um like violence wise but um <sighs> And even in like her scenes where like there's uh, scenes with her mother, I feel like there was nudity for like no reason. There was one second, sure, I understand that. A few seconds, fine. But literally every chance he got, like the director kind of attempted to like show her like breasts or something or the other. And I was like, what is the point of constantly showing this when like the audience can get the idea? And throughout the movie, like we, it is made clear that her mother has promised that her dad is somebody who basically like didn't want her as a child when they were pregnant and therefore like he's there and he might come back but he hasn't come back or hasn't shown up yet throughout and this kind of theme occurs constantly throughout the whole film where like it goes back to like her father or like somebody writing letters to her pretending to be her father and stuff like that and so I think uh, she obviously has like quote unquote daddy issues right and so in each relationship she has they basically after right after they get married Marilyn as Marilyn starts like for example they show the portrayal of Do uh, Joe DiMaggio or like uh, Arthur Miller the playwright and like so each time like they're after they get married she like calls them by the name like daddy instead of like Arthur or like whatever right and for story purposes like I understand that you would choose to say that like that's fine once twice that's a smart thing to put in there but I feel like it could have but they repeat it like so if there's a scene where she addresses him six times she will say daddy six times and I feel like having that repeated for three characters times like seven like or eight times she says it it's unnecessary like it feels a little bit weird and so it like honestly felt like this man's world where like even though like maybe he was the director adam he was trying to show like uh, some kind of you know story of her but it was constantly like a victim a victim a victim and the thing is she was a victim for sure for a large part of her life and her life was sad like there's no two opinions about that but there were moments in her life where she also fought for a lot of things she started her own production company she fought for rights for people on set she kind of did all of these things but there was no mention of that anywhere like we basically see her as like this drowning person who completely drowns and continues to drown until her last scene and um although like the director did show her that she has like knowledge like she knows about plays she knows about Chekhov she knows about um you know uh all of these other like playwrights and that's what kind of you know sets her aside from like different people that auditioned for the same roles that she did is that maybe she had a little bit of more information or whatever but I feel I think at the end of this movie like if you have no prior knowledge of what Marilyn Monroe who Marilyn Monroe is all you end up doing is like feeling sorry for her and it's just like a victim 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 like film like there's no part where they make her feel empowered or anything like that and i'm not like trying to say that they should push away from reality but at the same time there's like an extreme to which this director has chosen to play the character uh for Armas. i think there's like a beautiful scene where she's auditioning for um like uh, a part and she does like this beautiful i think it's like a one take scene where she uh auditions and it's stunning like her performance is quite grappling because she like dives into like moments of her own life where she takes into you know that part of her life and then she says it um in a way which it really makes you believe that um she's capable of playing that role <sighs> wow been talking for a minute you guys this film got me really like stressed because i was like going into this hoping to watch like some really well made film and despite all the resources they had i feel like they missed the mark on 
truly creating like a story or like some kind of thing each sequence was just like this girl is sad and she's going through sadness this girl is sad this she's going through sadness and like it was almost as if the director didn't want to give the audience any chance to like understand her it was oh she just got bad after bad after bad moments in her life and i think like as a male director like i don't know why he didn't like consult other people or like talk to other women perhaps who were in showbiz to kind of get like a second opinion on how she was portrayed um because i'm curious like how he decided to kind of make all these decisions and stuff like that but yeah it was, it was hectic it was the hectic but i will say Ana de armas did a really good job i do think like performance was really well done um some people had you know things to say about her accent or like maybe it wasn't like the perfect american accent and i understand that i do get that like it wasn't like perfect but i think as an actor you have to look at like a holistic thing like you can't be the person exactly like you have to embody their essence and i think like she did embody their essence personally for me and so yeah overall i think i would give it like a four or five out of ten like if we're really being honest here because i think there was a lot of opportunity to deep dive deep into like other issues but it was barely done and one of the other things that i like honestly wasn't that comfortable with was like there was a scene where there was multiple scenes where she gets an abortion or is forced to get an abortion and the scene is very like graphic in the sense that like they kind of use some animation and like vfx tools to show how like child was being pulled out of her and also that scene was filmed in like a slightly like sexual way in which like she was on like these strip ups with these like men looking around her and trying to like get her to have an abortion and it was like very like visceral almost and like I can understand that that was done and that could have been visceral but it didn't have to be so hyper sexualized i feel like i take a lot of issue with that because i don't know like it didn't need to be like from the abortion scenes to the relationships she had with like the two men in the beginning to joe dimaggio to the president to everything i feel like you can allude to a lot of things but it does not have to be so explicit even like I think HBO or Hulu hasn't taken this many kind of, you know, leaps and bounds to make something so freaking explicit. Um, so I don't know. It just felt like an odd thing to have. Like it was strange. Um, and I think one more thing is that like we didn't really see any of her being like her authentic self. Maybe there was like some bits in the beginning. There was no moments of her being authentic and maybe that's uh, that's because she really did like have a really you know difficult life and not many people knew her in the authentic way but um yeah you you could feel a lot of this stress and the sadness for her character and for her but um yeah like i just think it was like hyper hyper sexualized and like knowing what women had to go through in that era and knowing the struggles and everything i feel like this should have been a way to like you know maybe not like show her in that exact same light because after seeing this movie what you feel like is that nothing has changed you know because the fashion in which it was made it feels like we're still stuck in that time there's a difference between creating a film in a particular time with the way things are but it's a completely different thing when you're trying to portray that thing without exploiting the person that you're kind of you know shooting for without kind of taking and i wonder if they had an intimacy coordinator at all in any of these scenes like because my camera cut out um also you will never ever see me with makeup on these videos or channels or don't expect that i just came from a friend's place so you know kind of looking like this right now but yeah like 
I don't know what else to say, man. I was like, it's safe to say I was disappointed. Um, and it's safe to say that I was even more disappointed at like the way some of the scenes were. Like they did not need to be as nearly as explicit or as hectic as they showed them to be. Um, it made me feel sad like how hypersexualized it was because it, it was unnecessary. It was just truly unnecessary. And um, yeah, like I'm surprised like this film is going to be on Netflix because I don't know if it's going to be a different cut or whatever. But um, yeah, I guess like that's it. I think that's kind of pretty much all I have to say about it. And yeah will i be making more reviews i don't know will i be coming more on youtube <laughs> i don't know but hold me to it i will try my best and um let me know if you agree or disagree or like you know all your thoughts and feelings to be honest because i felt ways obviously and i need to come on here and resurrect my dead channel to say what i had to say so yes peace goodbye god this is so embarrassing sometimes um forgot to say maybe like subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet